Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine. You know, I think it's fun to relive good memories, like the memories I had in my blue 1970 Cougar. These are the keys that I kept from it. Or how about this scorebook when I played Little League? I kept that too. Or this Electro brand AM radio. It's AM only, but it is solid state. You know, there's a cool project in Make Volume 13 called Transistorize Your iPod. So let's bring the past and the future together in this week's Weekend Project. First, you're going to want to pick up a vintage transistor radio from the 70s. If it's only AM band, that makes it more of a time warp. Mine came apart real easy with a screwdriver. Then you're going to want to take the batteries out, if it has some in it. Remove whatever screws you find holding in the circuit board. This one only had two. Then remove the circuit board because we're going to need to get to the connections on the other side. All you're going to need for this is two 3.3K resistors and a 1 8 inch stereo plug if you're using an iPod Nano like I am. And you're going to need a short piece of two strand wire. First solder one wire to the ground end of the connector. Then solder each resistor to the stereo ends of the connector. Now the resistors not only protect any voltage from shooting back into the iPod, but they also balance the output signal. I put a piece of tape on the ground connection to cover it. Then solder the other wire to both resistors, turning it into a wonderful mono signal. Put on your shielding and screw on the housing, and your iPod connector is built. This Make Weekend project is powered by Radio Shack. Visit Radio Shack Invention Lab for more projects and exclusive videos, and the chance to win Radio Shack prizes. As much as I hated to do it, I drilled a small hole in my radio case so I could run the open wires from the newly built connector into the case. Tie a knot to prevent stress on the wire. Then find the two open connectors on the radio's volume control dial and solder your wires to it. Put your batteries back in, reinstall the circuit board, and screw it back in. Now, I found an old cassette tape of me on the air on an AM radio station back in the 70s, and I thought that would be perfect for this project. I recorded some select portions to an MP3 and then synced it up to my iPod. Plug the connector in the iPod, turn on the radio, tune to an unused frequency, play your retro MP3, and go back in time. Now that's how to relive some good memories in ultra low fidelity. And that's how to transistorize your iPod. <laughs>